Hey guys, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Today, we'll be continuing our motion graphic series with a really simple but really nice looking lower thirds effect. Before I continue, I just want to update you guys just a little bit. Um, first of all, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. It's um, just amazing so far. I uh, also want to announce my new creation, which will be soon. It's premium tutorial. So I know that you guys enjoy my tutorials a lot. I've gotten a lot of feedback on it and I really enjoy making them as well. So on my website, I'm going to have something uh, like a paid subscription. And if you do that, you get access to resources, templates, project files, and of course, bonus tutorials. Now I'll still be doing um, free tutorials. However, I'll be doing both. So premium tutorials and free tutorials probably more premium ones since you know they're premium <laughs> but anyways um that's just a quick heads up um stay tuned for that anyways let's get started on this tutorial so as you saw in the preview it's quite a really slick effect it's not much to it but it looks really nice so we're gonna grab our pen tool make the straight 120 pixels and we're gonna give this a green color Oops. All right, so we're gonna select on the bottom left corner, corner, hold shift, and then click just about halfway, a bit more than halfway. I wanna move that down just a little bit. All right. What I wanna do now is, just like in the animated lines tutorial, add a property called shrimp parts. Now we're gonna make them both 0%. And hit the stopwatch for the start, the very start. Go to around 15 frames, hit the stop stopwatch for the end. Go to one second, hit the stop, um, sorry, move the start value to 100%. Go to one minute 15 and move the end value to 100%. Now I'm gonna grab all of these keyframes, click F9, go into your graph editor. And what I'm gonna do is drag the first the bottom, the bottom two um, handles, move it to the left, and do it for the first two. This just gives it a bit of a slick motion, like so. So now we've got that, what we're going to do is duplicate it. Move that below the shape layer one, and you to open your keyframes up and what, I, what I'm gonna do is actually just delete all my keyframes and set both of them to 0% make sure you've done that now I'm gonna click shift T so I also bring up my opacity values and make the opacity 75 now what, what I'm gonna do is um, on the first end keyframe move that a go to like back a couple of frames and hit the start property I'm gonna go forward to around here the very last one and make that 100 now one thing I forgot to do is change the color Let's change this to a nice blue color All right now I'm gonna go uh, right here a couple of frames uh, in front of the first end keyframe on shape layer one and hit the end property then go a couple of frames after this one and make that 100 once again want to select all of them keyframe assistant easy ease and do the exact same thing so we move to the left so if we watch that just like that we've got quite a nice effect similar to the one we saw in the preview. We're actually gonna move the end just a bit forward. That way we can see the blue a bit more. So cool. Now what I'm gonna do is make text layer because it's the only thing we're missing right now. Let's call this Scott Paul, just as an example name. And I've given this a size of 107 and the font typography. We're going to go here and we're going to drag the text layer just right there, the very edge. Now what I'm going to do is move that to the very bottom, all right, 
and right click it, mask, and click new mask. Now what does this do? Alright, so this is basically creating a mask only around the text. It's basically like a wall with a window. So this is the wall, and this is the window. So if we click animate, position, and move this position around, you can see it disappears. It's kind of like a window. Alright, so what am I going to do with this, you may ask me. Um, basically, we're going to go to where the blue starts moving, which is right here. The first end keyframe for shape layer 2. We're going to click the position keyframe and move the X value all the way to the start. Actually, we can move that just a bit earlier. And then go to the very end, right there. And make that back to zero. Select it, click, uh, right click it, make it easy ease, and do the exact same th same thing. Drag it to the left. So now, if we take a quick look, it looks really smooth. And honestly, there's not much more to it. It's just that. The final thing that we can do is add a really quick end transition. So at around four seconds, we can uh, hit the keyframe for the position, go to around five seconds, and move that all the way up to alter the Y value until you can't see it. So we can select that, and yep, it's already applied. So if we take a look now, you can see it comes on smoothly, and suddenly it just slowly goes off. So anyways, that's just pretty much it. There's not much to it. Um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. If you did, please hit that like button and that subscribe button. It means so much to me. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.